dissolution and precipitation of calcium carbonate in marine environments by Tyler Green, Catherine Colleran, and Kelly Fortner. This is what occurs for the dissolution of calcium carbonate. As carbon dioxide increases in the ocean, the pH or alkalinity of the ocean water decreases. I put increases, but it decreases. As the alkalinity goes down, the water becomes more acidic and the ions of uh, calcium 2 plus become more soluble. As a result, calcium carbonate is less likely to precipitate. Also, as the temperature in the ocean water goes down, the ions of Ca2 plus become more soluble. This is why calcium carbonate must form in warm, shallow seas. Those are sad calcium 2 plus ions because they don't have their uh, soulmate. That's limestone. Here is a graph of uh, the relationship between uh, oh, all right. Here's a graph of the relationship between uh, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide and the pH of the water and how the pH affects the concentration of calcium 2 plus ions in the water. As the, as more, as the partial pressure of carbon dioxide goes up, the pH goes down, as shown in this graph, and the solubility of calcium 2 plus goes up. So now that we've seen dissolution of calcium carbonate, we can take a look at the precipitation of calcium carbonate. As the partial pressure of carbon dioxide goes down, the pH of the water goes up, resulting in the water becoming more basic. As the pH goes up, sorry, that arrow right there is supposed to be pointing up for pH, not down, the concentration of the calcium ions go down. This results in bonding between calcium ions and carbonate ions that precipitate out as limestone. Okay, so lastly, uh, we have temperature as a factor, and when it goes up, the solubility of the calcium ions go down. So the best environment for calcium carbonate to precipitate in is warm, shallow seas on a passive plate margin which is drawn at the very bottom right there. Oh, and say how they fall in love. Oh, and they fall in love. They found their soulmates. <laughs> So the graph that's being drawn here shows how temperature directly affects the concentration in calcium ions. And oh, hi, Ray. Um, in solution, the orange line that is about to be drawn, and right now on the vertical axis, I'm showing the concentration, which obviously I can't draw sideways. Um, so, and I can't draw a graph either. So the blue line, and the orange line that are being drawn shows the partial pressure in carbon dioxide. The blue line shows less concentration of calcium ions in solution than the orange line does. Why is this important, you ask? No one asked. Well, the most important reason is because of climate change, which is currently happening today. Climate change leads to ocean acidification and negatively affects coral reefs, basic shell forming organisms, as well as humans. Ocean acidification occurs when the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increases and the ocean helps stabilize the climate by absorbing carbon dioxide. By absorbing this carbon dioxide, calcium ions become more soluble in the water. In this picture, you can see CO2 being added to the ocean, affecting the coral reef. Coral reefs, they are the rainforest of the sea. As a matter of fact, they supply 32 of the 34 animal flya, while rainforest only supports nine. References are in the video description. Coral reefs are biodiversity hotspots, but very fragile ecosystems. Organisms called polyps take calcium ions from the ocean water, combine them with carbonate ions, and form a limestone skeleton, which serves as a base for coral colonies. The largest coral reef is the Great Barrier Reef, and it has been growing for 20,000 years. <laughs> More references found in the description. 
As climate change continues and coral reefs are negatively impacted, shelled organisms such as mollusks, crustaceans, etc. will also be affected, as well as echinoderms such as starfish, sea urchins, cnidarians such as jellyfish, sea anemones, and sea turtles, fish, fungi, and coral species themselves. 12% of the world's fisheries and billions of dollars in tourism will also be negatively affected. Reference three found in the description. If acidification of the ocean continues to increase, shell-forming organisms and coral reefs will have a harder time precipitating out calcium carbonate to form their skeletons. Even worse, if this acidification gets severe enough, you can actually break down and dissolve the existing coral um, skeletons. Uh, for this, refer to reference two in the description. However, there is a bright side. We can always take steps to reduce greenhouse emissions, which directly affect the dissolution and precipitation of calcium carbonate. 